happening? We are at Tom Wrigley, as always, on a Tuesday afternoon. We've got this M3, so it's a GAE M3 2022, I believe, rear wheel drive, beautiful satin uh, black. You've just seen we've got the Piper Cross uh, drop in filters and a full cat back by Remus. And it's just been on the dime for a stock run. So we are doing a stage one to this car. The reason it's here, it's just getting that extra little bit of sauce just to enjoy it a little bit further. It's got 19,000 miles, so the customer has enjoyed it already. It's now time to bring a new lease of life in the car, ready for uh, 2023 winter pretty much. But yeah, Tom, talk us through what we got stock Yeah, wise. we've seen a little bit over stock power figures really, obviously, because it has got the um, full Remus on there, but still on the stock tune, so we're at 480 at the wheels, which translates to approximately 530. So with about a 20 horsepower gain from just removing the OPFs and having that full Remus on there. Um, obviously got the air filter in as well. So we've done some baseline runs. Um, we'll get the MHD uploaded. It's obviously got the Femto unlock already, which we did from your place. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The so Femto drop ship. What we do is come to us. We would remove the ECU. We send it off to Femto. That allows it to go and come back. Once it's back, the car will either be so transported or um, we, for example. Yeah, where you wait. I mean, it's a day yeah. job. Then once once the Femto is done, it's a day job. Like you guys have come up today. We're yeah. going to get this done, car done. So. Um, yeah, so MHD on now, it's the platform we use to tune it, and then Mike will do us a custom tune, engine and gearbox, see what we can get out of it. But I mean, promising numbers so far. Um, mm -hmm. Just a straight 99 tune, um, let's see what we can get out of it. Cool, let's catch you back in a minute, let's get it loaded up and see what power we can make. So we are now back. So Tom's just done his magic, as well as Mike Ball. The car has been loaded up with a stage one. It made some serious noise, that's for sure. And we actually had some surprising figures that yeah. we've, it's better performance than actually my GA yeah, when it came crazy. to a stage one. Um, so Tom, please give us a little Yeah, down. so we've got 636 at the wheels, which translates to 712 bhp. Wow, just a stage, the stage one. one. Mental. So that's um, pretty crazy. Obviously the exhaust is doing a great job. Um, flowing lovely, good fuel in it as well. And then we've got 870 newton meters at the wheel, so it's an animal. This is going to be a real handful right and drive. So, as you've explained, no customer is a he loves track his track ride, days. So. He's just this is his daily. It's his everything car. He just wanted that new yeah. lease of life. So why I said we're going to turn it down. Turn it back down a bit and give us kind of, what are you gonna go for? Well, what I think if we're closer to sort of 600 at the wheels um, and closer to sort of 800 newton meters, we'll smoothen the torque of uh, the power, the sort of torque curve out a bit, so it's a bit flatter. Keep a nice power band, but not so spiky. Um, as we know, mate, we've both had the rear wheel drive ones and they are a handful. Yeah. Uh, you obviously got the good tires on there and stuff, but yeah, we'll turn it down a little bit. It's, yeah, but absolutely amazing. And to be fair, um, that wasn't really pushing it to the absolute limit either. Yeah, yeah. Like, kind of made it pretty easy. So we'll turn it down now, give it like a little tweak, and then we'll head out on the road. As always, two-part process. You know, we do the dyno, and then we'll run it on the road, make sure the boost is all good for the gears, mm -hmm. how it feels driving it, and then um, it'll be good to be on your way, mate. Yeah, perfect. Well, excited. We're now going to yeah show you a bit of yeah. on, like, on the road footage, I guess, and then we'll uh, give it back to the customer and see their reaction. 